Hey everyone, today we're going to be removing the high pressure fuel system on the top of the motor. I decided to make this its own episode for you, those of you out there who maybe want to go different injectors or a different high side pump. This will help get everything out. Now this factory service manual says the two fuel pipes on the inside need to be replaced if removed. Well, I'm going to try to show you a way to get it all out without having to disconnect those. And at the end, I'll show you how to disconnect the injectors from the rail. To get to this point, you'll need to remove the supercharger. If you haven't already, you can check out my video on that. The other thing is there's two electrical connectors on the back side of the rails. Each of those will have to be disconnected. I'll show you those later on in the video. Let's get started. This fitting style, this will just pull right up and off. This will slide off. It's a 3 8 quick disconnect tool. Slide it on, you're gonna push it in. I like to push on the line itself. And then, so, what I will be doing is I have a 150 degree fitting. It's going to come off this, come underneath, come out the back side, all with heat wrap on, and it's going to come up. And I'm going to have my fuel filter, check valve, and ethanol sensor all mounted back here on the firewall. And then it'll loop back and come to this. Let's see. So I can slide right on there. There we go. This fuel pump is going to be these two bolts right here. I had to pull this off of this little clip to make room. This I should have room. These are the 14s. That's the winner. are going to be, I think, 14 millimeters again. It's loose. Steady, even pressure going up together. Grab the gasket. So now that we've got that taken off, we'll go ahead and look at taking the injectors off the rail. So you disconnect this electrical connector and this one at the back of the rail next to the fuel pump. And those are the only connections. So if you remove this pipe and this pipe, the factory service manual says it needs to be replaced. I actually have both these sitting in a bag, but I decided to try it this way to see if it was possible and came out wasn't too bad. If you're going to remove the fuel pump, you'll just have to undo this one. And then for the injectors, I bought this special tool. It wasn't cheap and it's fairly basic. 
but this is specifically for removing the fuel injector clips. What I did was first came in here, pried it open, slid it up as much as I could with this. Then you come around to this side. up in there open it up slide it off now you can unplug the injector and this will slide up and out let me get it back on and work it on there it's pretty much all the way but <clears throat> service manual says to replace these retaining clips anytime they're taken off so probably be a good idea to get new ones so that's how you can get the high pressure fuel pump rails and injectors off thanks for watching everybody